Hey there, how are you guys? Coming to you for today's challenge. Happy Monday. I hope that yesterday you guys had an incredible Easter, that it was just blessed, and also that you just took some time to rest on a Sunday. You know, for us being in ministry, being a pastor's wife and a mom of three girls means that rest especially on a Sunday, is not an option, um, especially as we're preparing for school the next day and uh, then all the things that we need to do at church. So yesterday, what I found was at one point I actually was bored. And one, that never happens to me because I am always doing some sort of project. But what I was rejoicing in is that for a Sunday for our family that is typically extremely busy, it was filled with time of rest and reflection, but just relaxation. And we got to spend some time together as a family. We went down to the lake and just watched the sunset. And um, it, was, it was just a beautiful day, even though it started off a little crazy with <clears throat> you know, tornado warnings and rain and hail and crazy wind and all of the things that, you know, happened before that. But isn't that so much like our life? That we go through these crazy storms in our life. And then we get the rainbow. Then we get the beautiful sunset, the calm. You know, that's the interesting thing about our walks with God is that we are always going to be going through a storm. Something is always going to be happening. But at the end of it, there's always a beautiful sunset and a beautiful story to tell about God's faithfulness, His goodness, His mercy and grace. And <clears throat> yesterday, I just really saw that in a whole new way. And so it was just a beautiful day. Today I'm going to talk to you guys, uh, today's call, uh, challenge, I should say, is called Get the Message. And uh, so the scripture that I'm going to be using is Romans 12, verse 2, and it says, Don't copy the behaviors and customs of this world, but let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. Then you will learn to know God's will for you, which is good and pleasing and perfect. You know, when we rethink, when we change the way we are thinking, when we take our mind and we take it off of the negative and we put it onto the positive, God does an incredible thing. Because he doesn't just change our mind, but he changes our heart because we start to see things differently. You know, Currently, we, you know, have you ever been, let's, let's ask this. Have you ever been to a restaurant that has, you know, like 10 different TVs going all at the same time and you can only get bits and parts of information from each of those TVs. It's really hard to know what's happening on each and every single one of them. And that's what's happening right now in our world. We have so much information being thrown at us whether it's what this doctor thinks or this doctor thinks or what our president is saying or what, you know, a congressman or a senator thinks or what your own personal doctor thinks or what your neighbor thinks. We are hearing so much information from so many different places. And it's really hard to take all of that in. Not only that, it's extremely overwhelming. And the thing is, God's word is saying, number one, let a, don't copy the behaviors and customs of this world, but let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. So my challenge to you guys today is to get the message. And by that, I mean, get in God's word. You need clarity, get in God's word. You need peace, get in God's word. You need joy, get in God's word. Because the only way that we are going to change the way that we think is by putting our thoughts under God's control. So that is your challenge today, is to get in God's word. Get the message by way of his words, not the world that is screaming around you. But God, who is saying, I have your answers, I have your peace, I have your comfort, I have your joy, 
Now let me give it to you so freely. For freely he has given and freely he gives to us. So let's look to his word instead of all the chaos going on around us. All the things that we're hearing from around us. Let's put those aside. And let's take peace and comfort in knowing that the God of the universe, the God who just died and rose again for you, loves you so much that even in the midst of the crazy, in the midst of the storms, he will give you the sunset. He will give you the rainbow. When you look to him, you lean on him and you trust in him. So get the message today. Get in your word and trust in him. Have an incredible day. Happy Monday. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.